So, um, for this term's ECMP 355 class, it's a pre-service teacher class that I teach at the University of Regina. I'm asking my students to do something I'm calling the learning project. And it's based on a 100-hour challenge that you and McIntosh had on his blog last year where he, he invited people to spend 100 hours learning something new and finding other people and sharing it. Uh, and so I'm taking, sort of riffing on that idea, and I'm asking my students to pick anything they want to learn, that they don't have a lot of background or none, but they're interested or passionate about or just want to learn about, and see what they can do in maybe 25 or more hours, given the constraints of, of a one semester class. And so I felt like for me to ask them to do it, I, I needed to try it myself. So this is it. So this is kind of uh, my first post or recording. And I don't know how often I'll uh, record it. I'm asking my students to be um, fairly diligent, probably once a week, give an update on their learning. They don't have to do a video recording like I'm doing. They can write it out. They can do whatever they choose, but they need to document and think about their learning. And so this is me modeling for my students. So just a bit of background with uh, what I know about guitar, kind of nothing. Um, I do have some musical training. I can read notes. I, I, uh, I play trombone in high school, so I understand a little bit about uh, reading music, but um, all of this stuff is really foreign to me. So fortunately, uh, I do live in a house with uh, somebody who does play guitar, my daughter, and so she's going to be one of, not my only teacher, but she's going to be one of my teachers. And so she sat down with me this evening for about uh, 20 minutes and gave me a few lessons. So here's what I've learned already in 20 minutes. I can play, sort of, um, a G chord. Now, as, as she was teaching me, she was commenting on my fingers, my fat fingers and so forth. And she uh, was trying to, to um, show me that I needed to, well, first of all, position my hand differently here on the fret. And so this is quite an awkward um, so far. And she said, that's fine. You'll, it'll feel awkward at the beginning. Um, position to my, for my hands to be in. And also making sure that I sort of get my, she said, fat fingers a number of times. Fat hands, fat fingers. I didn't take offense, but she did say that. Getting them out of the way. So, but I think that almost sounds good. Now she's, she said there's a few different things you can do here. I'm not using a pick. She, she says she sometimes likes to use use her uh, fingers as a pick or goes like this and she had a few different other techniques. He just sort of said just play around with that and find something but we also looked at using um, just getting the rhythm down so we can just play quarter notes which I understand what quarter notes are. She also said I needed to make sure I wasn't using my arm so much but more my my wrist a little better. I did learn a C note, which or a C chord, which um, uh, sounds like this. So my homework this week is to work on the transition between a C and a G chord. So that's what I'm working on this week. So. Um, there you have sort of my baseline entry as to my skills as a guitar player. Um, I am looking forward to, to learning this. I'm going to probably uh, head out to YouTube and, and find some other um, teachers on YouTube and uh, just sort of see where I, go with, where I go with this. So this is kind of exciting for me. I think the whole process for my students will be uh, an important one to, again, really be transparent in their learning and think about the think about that and uh, explore even indeed what what technology does and can do for our learning as well so this is it lesson one and maybe we'll be back um, next week with an update on my progress